The return of my coin lady channel brings me much joy. Some exciting new developments have recently surfaced in relation to India's UPI system, an interface for unified payments. It is quite relevant to Ripple and XRP as well. Additionally, we will be discussing this extensively and delving deeply into it. First, we'll go over the links to Ripple, with a focus on the UPI system. In order to help us make sense of this, I've opened it up over here. Nevertheless, based on our subjective assessments, UPI has processed more than 100 billion transactions. Do you spot any Ripple partners? If so, how many? Ripple partners in 2023 and 2024 include some of the financial institutions and non-financial organizations that have embraced UPI, the public digital infrastructure. With a 55% increase in volume and a 40% increase in value compared to the previous year, UPI achieved a significant milestone of crossing 100 billion yearly transactions, showcasing the robust infrastructure and user trust in digital finance in India. UPS has affirmed its pivotal role in shaping the future of digital payments, both domestically and internationally. We can see that it's not just India that is adopting UPI by going over here to see the complete breakdown of countries. It has already gone global. Bhutan has now joined us. As a result, we can trace CBDCs and related ripple effects all the way to Bhutan's Royal Monetary Authority. Then there is Singapore, and then there is Malaysia. Additionally, there are a number of Asian countries such as Japan, the United Arab Emirates, Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, Hong Kong, Taiwan, South Korea, and Korea. Afterwards, we have Nepal, the UAE once more, France, the UK, the Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, Switzerland, Oman, the UAE once more, London, and finally, Sri Lanka. Take a look at the names associated with these announcements, the Royal Monetary Authority of Ubutan is only one example of how bizarre this is. All right, pay now. Ripple is collaborating with them. Ripple has collaborated with PayNow, and they also hold a license from the Monetary Authority of Singapore. This is a liquid group, then. There are a few other connections here, such as Lulu Financials, another major one, but we don't have any back to liquid group. I find it fascinating that several of the listed names have connections to Ripple or even XRP, and that we also have TerraPay and PayExpert Worldline, two quite prominent brands on this list. This, however, is not the sole link. Actually, yesterday, Navin Gupta, who you all know is a former employee of Ripple, unveiled the Finternet in a post on August 29th. The purpose of this project is to bring all real-world assets onto chain ledgers in order to provide underprivileged communities with access to credit and financial services. What intrigues me about this is that Navin Gupta did, in fact, cause waves. This picture has little to do with Ripple, although it does feature several prominent figures, including MPSI, one of the main forces behind UPI. Riffraff and Crystal Platform are two other options. This is the picture of the future when digital assets are represented as tokens, and I think it's fascinating that Ripple is being tagged here. A token is a self-describing, self-contained, shunnable packet. With the advent of cryptographic advancements, immutability, verifiability, security, and privacy, tokens have returned to the future in the same way as paper digital tokens return control to users. Thanks to the internet, composability and interoperability are made possible for everyone. The fact that it is all centered on the internet, or the internet of value, is absolutely mind-boggling to me. Who tagged this first, by the way? Keep in mind that the BIS has been referring to the finternet as the internet of value lately. Which Ripple took the lead? When they initially said, hey, we're doing something called the internet of value, they were among the pioneers. Navin Gupta has just joined the BIS, but suddenly they're beginning with the internet, which is essentially the same thing. Engaging in this discussion while mentioning particular players, players who are also responsible for creating UPI. Because of this, we think that Ripple has been collaborating on UPI with India, kudos to ISO 22 as well. Finish it. This covers the entire period beginning in June of 2023. TerraPay and MSI, the companies behind UPI in India, are both partners with Ripple. 
Regarding the global facilitation of account transfers, we are in talks with Empsi and have Ripple. By the way, Navin Gupta is tagging Empsi here and there in his reports on the acquisition of TerraPay by an investor group. At the same time, Empsi International and TerraPay are working together to provide easy merchant payments through QR codes that are enabled by UPI. Once again, the links are readily apparent. Over here, we also have it. Everyone knows that Ripple and the Royal Monetary Authority of Butan have been collaborating on a pilot program for their digital currency, CBDC, which was also pegged to the Indian rupee at par. Throughout this, Ripple plays a significant role, and we have discussed why. Indeed, at the moment, XRP's value isn't increasing due to these agreements, announcements, possible partnerships, and the like. Crypto has not yet reached the point where it can support scalable use cases. We must ensure that safeguards are established. That is why I have always emphasized the importance of listening, while everyone is griping and whining, it's crucial to focus on the final hurdle. Just like when you're at the last stage of a race, imagine dropping out. The only thing standing between us and the finish line is the finish line laws, but you're already there. Still, a lot of individuals are just spilling the beans right now. All of a sudden, they're getting rattled and told to give up. All we have to do is wait for regulations, and here we are, on the brink of disaster. It's absurd, really. This is a major issue, and I've been completely forthright about the fact that it's the sole thing preventing us from moving forward. Why? A role for non-banks and fintechs in increasing UPI-based person-to-merchant transactions in India was announced not long ago, less than 24 hours ago, to be exact, all as part of the Universal Payments Interface. The Fed Bank of Kansas City published this. I used chat to summarize. It is our once used primarily for P2P payments, UPI has now grown into India's most popular digital payment method, handling more than 75% of the country's retail digital payments. This rapid expansion is largely attributable to the participation of non-banks and fintech companies. By facilitating the worldwide expansion of UPI P2M payments and providing third-party apps, merchant services, and consumer credit, non-banks and fintechs have been instrumental in this growth. Government programs such as Dijon Dehan, Adhar Mobile Trinity, I hope I'm pronounced it right, and demonetization in 2016 are major factors contributing to the increase in UPI P2M transactions. COVID-19 and new developments at the National Payments Corporation of India, NPCI, the same organization that created UPI. A uniform set of standards and an open source framework are the primary goals of the NPCI. Has made it easier for non-banks and fintechs to join the market, which has led to increased visibility, wider acceptance, and integration with digital commerce. Apps with easy-to-use interfaces, QR codes for retailers, solutions for company administration, and consumer credit lines are all ways in which non-banks and fintechs have helped. In addition to revolutionizing India's payment landscape, their smart alliances with foreign fintechs have made UPI payments accepted worldwide. This has paved the way for digital payment interoperability on a global scale. Very important is UPI. Given our emphasis on the BRICS, India is also an extremely important player. Quickly, BRICS is growing. India plays a significant role in that picture. Also over here, this is vital information that you must know right now. Seeing my video is an honor. Do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye for now.